Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the region now, I've got the Rock Island Armory VRPA40 pump action 12 gauge shotgun and a 19 round mag that we're gonna function test today. Now, I want to compare this with the VR80, also a Rock Island shotgun, and see how they perform. Now, I have not done the 19 round mag with this pump action shotgun, and I've got seven and a half target loads. Not the expensive stuff. I have a little higher pressure rounds over here for the semi-auto VR80. Here's a closer look at each of these shotguns. We'll start with the VRPA40. Polymer stock, ghost ring rear sight, 1913 rail, heat shield, there's the forend, 20 inch barrel with a fiber optic front sight. It has the 19 round mag inserted. It does come standard with a five round magazine. Nine round mags are also available separately. But here's the VR80 semi-auto. And you take a look at the, the polymer stock there. It's got a buffer bolt system that makes it real easy on the shoulder. Controls the recoil quite well. A little longer 1913 rail, flip up rear and front sight, and also a 20 inch barrel. Let's see how this performs, and then we'll check out the other one. Basically, I wanna make sure that it can get through all of the rounds. Let's see, we're gonna do that right now. Let's go. I'm noticing that the shell is getting caught up right on the base of that mag, but once I put a little extra pressure on, it does load. We'll continue on. Like right there. I put a little more on and it will chamber. Another one. And then that's it. All right, so it did fire all 19 rounds. I think that was 19 rounds. Sure felt that way when I loaded it. But now we have the VR80. This is a semi-auto shotgun. Once again, a Rock Island, both 20 inch barrels. This one I really like. But when I function tested with the 19 round mag, it was just so 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 we're gonna see if it's any better now this has fiocchi seven and a half shot high velocity rounds i don't know what to expect but we'll check it out and i counted those off and that was a true 19 round. So I'm pretty happy with that. That performed really well. And I do love this shotgun. You know, if you check it out there, very nice overall shotgun. It's been very good to me uh, since I've owned it. It's got a lot of features. The VRPA40 is nice. It's a pump action, uh, new to the VR line. That will be available in January of 2020. This one is out and available now and pretty happy that it cycled through that entire 19 round magazine. Well, if I had five bucks, I would have bet on the VRPA40 pump action shotgun just because of the action alone. But in this comparison, the semi-auto VR81, I didn't think it would. I gotta be honest, I'm actually pretty surprised. It's really easy on the shoulder with the semi-auto action. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.